You know, I've known Kobe since he was 15 years old, and I was 16, <clears throat> uh, playing AAU basketball. And we go through 18 years of competing and talking junk and about to fight each other and congratulating each other and hating each other, enjoying each other in 18 years. Let's uh, take a look at the lineups. First for the defending NBA champion, Los Angeles Lakers, Ron Harper and Kobe Bryant in the backcourt. No true point guard for the Lakers. The ball will be shared among a number of different people. Rick Fox starts at the small forward spot. Horace Grant is... Phil Jackson continues to recruit the guys he used to have at Shaquille O'Neal in the middle. Phil Jackson won six NBA titles with Chicago, one last year with the Lakers, and he's accomplished everything you can accomplish as an NBA head coach. For the Raptors, Mark Jackson, second in the NBA in assists, and Vince Carter, as we mentioned, third in the league in scoring. We'll see how the knee does here early today. And the usual trio up front, Corliss Williamson, Charles Oakley, and Antonio Davis, and Lenny Wilkins may need every single foul, Leo, that he can get from his big men. <laughs> <laughs> to try and deal with Shaquille O'Neal here today. Well, Dan, the key to Shaquille O'Neal is get to him early. You have to start bumping him all the way up the court. Don't let him get down to the blocks, or you're going to have a, your hands full and be in big trouble. All time, the Raptors are two and a six against the Los Angeles Lakers. As you look at the officiated crew here today, and it's the Lakers to control the opening tap. How about Shaquille O'Neal? As big as he is, Dan, stealing the jump from Antonio <laughs> Davis. <laughs> Shaquille O'Neal's got four inches and about 80 pounds on Antonio Davis, and he makes him pay early. You're talking to Antonio Davis as you just don't sleep well the night before you have to play against Shaquille O'Neal. The attack early. One of two. Here's Bryant on the fly. Pass Carter to jam it home. Is that just too easy for Toronto? You can't let Kobe Bryant not pass up the court, Dan, but dribble by everybody. Terrific drive by Kobe Bryant. You can see giving up the ball and getting it right back and just blowing right by Vince Corliss late and Antonio Davis late in the rotations. you got to get over. Again, force other people other than Kobe or Shaq to score. Long jumper for Davis is there. The Raptors are back within one. Dan Antonio's coming off his best offensive game against Milwaukee Friday. 25 points. Fred the side and turn it over, so the strategy pays off for the Raptors. Carter, the quick jumper at the other end, and it's there for a three. Vince Carter felt the last one should have went down. You can see a little bit more legs in this shot, a little bit more aggressive. Bryant inside over Oakley. O'Neal just too much size. Harper, the pass to O'Neal to jam it home. That's a great job by Shaquille O'Neal, Dan. One to keep that ball. They shoot the ball as much as any three players in the league. Oakley steps in, misses the jumper. Kept alive, though, and Williamson runs it down. Nice look inside. Antonio Davis from Vince Carter. That's just great basketball right there. Make that extra pass. Everybody's moving. Antonio Davis working the baseline. And as Phil Jackson told Paul Jones, right now Kobe Bryant is on Mark Jackson. Ron Harper is on Vince Carter. Oakley surprised by a behind-the-back pass from Jackson. Now he gets it back. Carter looking for the ball. Play by Charles Oakley. Dan, he read that play. He saw Vince Carter get behind the defense. Well, the key is not to relax because Shaq's not in there, Dan, to continue to play aggressively like he did early. Jumper from the corner for Kobe Bryant is there. Like Kobe Bryant's so good, Dan. What Vince has to do right now is get up on Kobe. Carter and Oakley. Yeah, Vince Carter setting his man up. Ron Harper away from the basket and great elevation, effortless over the rim. Well, that's a great look at it, too, watching that play develop. Bryant passes up the three. Now the mid-range jumper, and he's got the whole package. He said, at least now I have something to fall back on. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> Just yeah. in case my 120 million goes away. Oakley's jumper, yes, and the Raptors take the lead. Well, Charles Oakley really struggled for a, a good part of the early season. Harper off to Bryant, draws a crowd. Fox on the wing with the quick release, and it's a three. Yeah, Rick Fox is the ultimate complimentary player. He's the ribbon that ties everything together. Davis with a nice move, but got the ball caught on his hip. Yeah, good job by Horace Grant to stick a hand in there. Bryant over oh. Carter, and he's feeling it right now. Kobe already with 10. A great little move there, Dan. A little juke at Vince Carter just to get him off balance of going right up in his chin. And if you want to hear the scary part, Vince Carter's only 23. Kobe Bryant's only 22. Carter answers over Bryant. Now, see, that's a good shot. The center to both clubs, really. Fox 
over Williamson. And another three for Rick Fox. So it'll be Williamson trying to take him inside. Rick Fox, the Lakers right now have a five-point lead over Vince Carter and the Raptors. Take advantage of that. The Lakers have outscored the Raptors 14 to 9. Make it 17 to 9 since Shaq went to the bench. And Kobe Bryant leads all scores right now. Nice look inside from Carter to Oakley, and the second try is good by Horace Grant. <laughs> <laughs> Horace Grant actually looked like he knocked that in. Here's the matchup. It's backing him down. It won't go, but he does draw the foul. Strong move by Carter. O'Neal out of the game. The Raptors have to look to attack the hoop. And looking at Carter through the first 11 minutes of this game, the knee appears to be pretty good right now. Here's Mike Penberthy, who's been one of the real surprise and success stories in the NBA this year. Eligible to play for Canada's national team, something he's interested in doing. Now hopefully Penberthy can persuade Rick Fox to join the right. club on the Canadian team, and everybody will be in good shape. Nice move by Oakley. You don't see him go to the bucket. The one area that Penberthy has to work on is defensively. He really got burned in the third quarter the other day against in Portland again by Damon Stoudemire, the ex-Raptor. And right now, Vince Carter trying to go at him. Kobe's got about a second to get a shot off. And made a good effort of it at the end of the first quarter with Kobe Bryant leading the way with 13. Better than half of L.A.'s points. It's the Lakers leading the Raptors 25 to 23. Now for a sports update from the TSN the Sports Department. Let's go to Corey Warren. Throughout the game, but Raptors can't shoot 39% and hope to win. We've already seen Kobe Bryant and Vince Carter match up against one another in the final few minutes of that first quarter, and Kobe Bryant carrying the Lakers with Shaquille O'Neal on the bench. Vince Carter's knee looking pretty good, and this game kind of playing out the way you expected it would. <laughs> Alvin Williams into the game for Toronto. Shaq gets his man in the air. And are you really going to block a shot? Chances are no. Get a hand up, play with the body, but don't commit a foul. He struggled more with the free throws than at any point in his career, shooting 39% this year as he buries a couple. Career 53% coming into this season, 39% this year. Tough fadeaway for Carter over Kobe. That's the toughest shot that Vince possesses. Now Ori. That's a shot you'd like to see Ori yep. take. He's a standstill shooter, or he goes to the bucket, but he doesn't shoot well off the dribble. And Ori and Corliss Williamson get a little bit tangled up. O'Neal's become a very good passing center for the last few years, and once he gets it there, as you said, forget about it. Yeah, really, O'Neal, the best passing big man in the game. Nice job of kicking it out and getting it right back. Good position again for O'Neal. The foul on Willis, and a shackle head to the line as well. What's amazing is how nimble and agile he is running the floor in the lane with all the traffic. Probably the one blemish in his entire coaching record. This is the winningest coach in the history of the game. Was his last year with the Atlanta Hawks. How about the range for Carter? A good three feet behind the line. Well, he's found that spot in this game. He's knocked down several shots from that area. But when Vince gets his legs into a shot, he really has limitless range. And now Penberthy. His three is there. Well, if you ask Phil Jackson, is it a surprise that Penberthy's on his team? With a very long three-point basket. Look at the range here. He's got a 14, and the Raptors are back within five. There's Alvin Williams, and we talked about him going to work on Penberthy. Nice move, but he missed the shot. Here's Bryant on the clock. Spins on Williams, lays it in. Wow, and you're talking about Alvin Williams, a very good defensive player. Kobe Bryant just having his way. Watch this move by Kobe Bryant. A little hesitation to spin. And again, Alvin Williams, an accomplished defensive player. Scouts around the league love his intensity, but Kobe Bryant getting by him, now getting a little bit of a break, but seemingly effortless move. I thought I was going to get a little bit of a break out here. <laughs> Listening before the game didn't look like he was ready to play. But Phil Jackson is the, probably the one coach in the league that can maybe tolerate Isaiah Ryder enough to get him to the point where he can be a contributor or not. If it's not going to happen with Phil Jackson and the Lakers, it won't happen anywhere in this league. Well, see Dennis Rodman in Chicago. Exactly. As Kobe Bryant keeps it going, a jumper over Dell Curry to extend the Laker lead. Now Kobe Bryant has knocked the ball off of Jackson's leg, forcing Jackson away from the middle, not allowing him to initiate the offense. He's all over him. He's forcing baselines. It's amazing more teams don't put a quick player on Jackson to try to accomplish yeah. the same result. You think about how good Bryant is and how young he is and how much better he could get. It's a little bit scary. Absolutely. Nice oh spin move by Shaq. Well, Shaq has not missed a shot in this game. He's got 13 points. Not only perfect from the field, but perfect from the line as well. 
Bryant wants the fouls. He takes the bump from Jackson. The Raptors just one of nine shooting the ball here in the second quarter, but Curry will help that. Well, that was a great play. Antonio Davis looked to make a power move. Shaq looming behind right now. Antonio Davis wants to go up. He saw a shot cheating as well. Found the open man, Del Curry. Del had eight points. Scored more than half of the Laker points. All right, and Glenn Rice, even at times he did disappear. Nice pass from Ryder to Kobe Bryant there. Even though at times he did get quiet, he was also a threat. He was also a capable player that could put up 30 points on a given night. And you really need that threat on the floor. You know what you like about Brian, too, even though he's only 22. He got pummeled here by Charles Oakley, but he knew it was coming. Mm -hmm. And he had a little smile for Oakley on his way back as if to say, I understand yeah. you can't let me dunk the ball. And also saying, is that the best you have? I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got, I think maybe he has shown a little bit more inner toughness and inner strength, maybe. Vince Carter struggling a little bit. Looks like he's favoring his left foot there. But when you talk about the bloodlines of a Kobe Bryant, remember his father, Jelly Bean Joe Bryant, was a great player. I played with. See how Carter moves at this end of the floor after apparently favoring his foot down at the other end. Looks up to three. So far, so good. <laughs> good way to test it out. Yeah. And now a foul away from the play after the shot. Vince Carter, who has been battling a sore knee and was limping down to the other end of the floor, elevated enough to get the shot off. There you can see he's definitely favoring that left foot, but looked very good taking that jump shot. Isaiah Ryder, not a good move, hiding behind Charles Oakley instead of fighting over the top of the screen to try to take the jump shot away from Vince Carter. The Raptors hanging in, trailing by six. Bryant guarded by Carter, stolen by Curry. And now the race is on, and Curry just couldn't get up in the air enough to lay it in, but he did draw the foul. You generate some booze from the fans, and you're talking to both Isaiah, especially Damon Stoudemire. He loved Toronto. There were a lot of circumstances which forced him to leave Toronto. Now he's playing also in his hometown of Portland. He doesn't have negative feeling towards Toronto, and he'd love it if the fans would remember some of the good things he did while he was here. They force Kobe to give up the ball. Now right over the corner. Jukes on Oakley. Finds Grant. And a block by Willis. Great reaction by Kevin Willis. Should have been an easy two. Here's a wide open Curry. Misses the three. And now Foster kicks it back out to Shaw as we go inside the final two minutes of the first half. Lakers by five. I see that time Isaiah Ryder was standing at the top of the key, Dan. He didn't realize in the triangle offense he had a move to go to the corner. He just stayed up top. Horace Grant went to the corner, and now Horace Grant coming back to the other side, able to get the jump shot. Interesting, listen to Kobe Bryant talk about Isaiah Ryder and that triangle offense. He, he said he really hasn't tried to help him out. He said, hey, I, I had to figure out. Let him figure it out. I don't know if Phil Jackson wants to hear that from his players publicly anyway. Vince Carter answers with a three, and for Carter, he's now got 20. Yeah, and a good percentage too, Dan. Seven of 12 shooting from the field, along with Vince. Foster continues to guard Willis. And it's laid back up and in by Oakley. Offensive rebounding, the biggest reason the Raptors are back in this game. And the biggest reason they've gotten to the free throw line more as well. They've made more free throws than the Lakers have attempted. And that's a big key in this game. Beautiful feed from Ryder to Bryant, but Cody's called for the offensive foul. And who else but Charles Oakley is there to take the charge. And getting back to that point, Charles Oakley will help you. Vince Carter getting beat, but chasing, pursuing Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant a little bit too quick and out of control. Nobody, maybe the best in the NBA, at sneaking, getting outside of the semicircle, and drawing the charge. That would have given the Raptors the lead and sent the roof off of this building. Now Bryant tries to answer, and a foul is called on Carter, who thought he had him clean. Well, Vince really anticipated that shot, Dan. He was right there, got a hand up, and thought he got it clean. Matchup between Carter and Kobe, and they're right, but it's sure fun to watch. Exactly, and right there you see the contact, and there is a little contact on the wrist, and that's where the call comes. But you and I both noticed before the game, Vince had a certain look on him. He focused yep. prior to the game. Had the same kind of look as he had last year before he lit up. Milwaukee for 48 points. That's right against Ray Allen. And look at the numbers that these two young stars are putting up here today. Isaiah Ryder getting called for foul. You can see his disgust at the call from the free throw line, just under 70%. They've done a great job of getting to the line, but it's kind of been a tendency in the last couple of weeks now for this team, Dan, that when they do get to the line, to not shoot. Sandwiching the big fellow. 
Shaw to inbound it. Got it back, and it got the shot off in time, but couldn't find the range as we come to the close of the first half. What a good first half it's been. Shaq went in there, has been dominant. Vince Carter, Kobe Bryant, outstanding as well as the Lakers take a 53-49 lead over the Raptors to the break. Vince Carter's knee looks okay. The foot appears to be okay. Defensively, Vince Carter's kind of got going. What will you guys have to do in the second half to, sh to shut him down a little bit? Well, just, you just want to limit his touches. You know, he's been shooting the ball extremely well, he shot extremely well this half. Uh, hopefully that won't continue, but this just want to try to limit his touches. All right, Kobe, good luck second half. Now the Raptors have to find a way to limit, limit Kobe Bryant's touches, especially those. A dunk early in the first quarter. Shaquille O'Neal went on the floor, was overpowering inside with 13 points, but Vince Carter had a terrific first half as well with 22. Raptors trail by four. Back to Sunil and Bryant in the studio. Well, Dan, you want some other numbers to think about. Everybody knows how important the first five minutes of the third quarter are to establish what you want to do and how to close out the second half. But keeping in mind, going into the fourth quarter, both of these teams, when they have the lead going into the fourth, the Lakers are 13-3, the Raptors 10-0. Shot clock never resets, so Jackson gets it off in time and hits the three. And Mark Jackson stepping up big time. I told you, he likes to start out early in the game. Antonio Davis and O'Neal giving him a little bit of space. Stolen by Fox. Smart move by Shaquille O'Neal. He knows Antonio Davis want, doesn't want to take that shot initially to start the offense. And he doesn't take it as well. But look at his defensive play right here. There's no way. Three-point lead for the Lakers. 55-52. Again, space given by Shaq. Offensive rebound for Carter. The Raptors continue to do what they do well. Rebound. Last year at this time, they were averaging about 97 and a half points a game. Jackson, another outside bomb, but not there. Bryant saves it. Fox covered by Williamson, who had some good moments in the first half. Kobe spins on Carter, and it draws the foul. What a move. Yeah, great move. A lot of times you'll see players get called for travel on that spin. Excellent job with the footwork. Watch Kobe catch the ball, just spin away from the contact and go up strong, get the hit, and still try to make the shot. And that's something you talked about in the first half, Dan. He's not shying away from the contact. He's looking to finish the play after the hit. Second time that there's been a big collision between Kobe Bryant and Charles Oakley in the first round by Charlotte. You think a lot of here. teams are scratching oh. their heads right now? <laughs> Looking for Shaq down low again. Oakley on him instead of Davis to begin the second half. Tough shot, and it goes in. Well, people don't realize what a soft touch the big fella has. He gets it up there. Now with a switch, Oakley's out on Bryant. Shaquille O'Neal has Mark Jackson on him. This is a mess right now for the Raptors, and they get a dunk. That was predictable. Yeah, an excellent job. You're focusing in on the big fella. You kick it out. Kobe Bryant not taking the shot, but penetrating into the lane. O'Neal calling for the ball. Has it left block on Wilkes. Double team Williamson. Open man Fox. Not there. Fox again. A great job by Rick Fox keeping it alive. That's what you talked about, that complimentary player. Now it's the Lakers on the glass, and finally Bryant lays it home. See, that's something the Raptors just can't allow. They're just struggling with the Lakers in terms of keeping their percentage down. The Lakers, if they get active on the offensive glass, Nothing easy, Dan. Everything has pretty much been on the outside, and they're not getting to the free throw line like they did early in the game. Jackson trying to post up the larger Kobe Bryant, and he does it well. Well, Jackson's so good at kind of lulling you to sleep when he has you on his back in the post, and in it's pure anticipation who's going to go up first. Kobe gets a screen, locks it inside for O'Neal, gets two men, now three men in the air, but he travels. One too many steps there. Good help by the Raptors. Sending platooning <laughs> the defense down against Shaquille O'Neal. Watch Mark Jackson. He lulls you to see, brings you down, and a little scoop with that inside elbow and the ribs of Kobe Bryant helped out a little bit. Giving up a lot of size in that matchup, but didn't back down at all. Now he's going to try it again from this side. Remember that five second rule that was put in in post play was instituted largely because of Mark Jackson and Charles Barkley, who's now retired. Steal by Harper and a nice finish at the other end. A 69 to 60 for the Lakers. That number haunts them. And they are way below 40% right now. Bryant into the paint. 
bangs it home, draws the foul. He is not shying away from the contact at all. No, and that's the reference of the move I made earlier when Vince Carter took the ball against Rick Fox down low. Look at this move. Go right at the defense, stop, go up. When you can leap like a Vince Carter or a Kobe Bryant, you can jump over people. You don't need much of an advantage. Grant looks inside for Shaq. Willis on his back. No double team. Shaq spins and hits. Not much you can do about that. Shaquille O'Neal displaying once again that soft touch. Jackson steps back, misses the shot. The Raptors had a chance to maybe send Antonio Davis down to the post. He had Harper on him. Kobe again, and he draws another foul. See, when you take a shot you really don't want to take, that's what happens. That's what good teams do to you. They make you pay for it. If you see that shot by Mark Jackson, it didn't look like he really wanted to take it. He said, I'll take it because I have to. And then Kobe Bryant coming right back the other way and scoring. You know, you saw that shot as well as I did doing it. It didn't look like you really wanted to take it. It was more, okay, but give it to me, I'll take it. But nobody else on the floor was doing anything to get right. Any other. Good screens and not rolling and not having good spacing on the floor. Now the Raptors continue, Leo, to have a terrible time shooting the ball. They've been down in the 30s the entire game, and the Lakers have been hovering around 50% all day long. And what makes it even worse, Dan, the Raptors have stopped getting to the free throw line. They did a great job throughout most of the game, but they pretty much stayed stagnant there and not got to the line in the third quarter. And after really going back and forth at each other in the first half, but every year he's played more, he's gotten better, he's scoring more, and now he's at almost 29 points per game and leading the NBA in scoring. The key is efficiency. Kobe Bryant is capable of putting up big numbers night in and night out. It's Shot clock at seven. Bryant behind his back over Curry. What a play. You can't ask Del Curry to play defense any better than that. No, and Kobe Bryant just looks so confident. It's basically looking at Del Curry. I'm just going to jump over you and shoot this shot. Just like Peterson, the Raptors need that production off the bench. And you could say the same for Del Curry. Inside move for Shaq as he spun to the baseline and lofted it in. And don't say the big fella doesn't have a soft touch. Over 50% shooter. Peterson on the feed from Curry. And the most movement the Raptors have showed came on that play. Fox finds an open shot. Ten on the shot clock. Now Shaq. Long jump hook is there. And you see what the Raptors did. They forced him away from the basket. He was actually moving away from the bucket. Bryant. Underneath, Shaq, and it goes in a foul as well. You see the Raptors gambling defensively. Alvin Williams, the Raptors are not in a situation right now where they have to gamble and steal the basketball. Alvin Williams gambled. Kobe Bryant goes back door, finds Shaquille O'Neal. Good position defense right now is the key. Once Kobe Bryant is able to penetrate and the defense rotates, you'll get mismatches. Even though he's made some great shots, we've talked about his touch. That's still not what Phil Jackson would like to see him do. Carter with a tough jumper from the baseline. It's just his second basket. Half of the lead is down to 11. Well, regardless of how Vince plays, you know he's capable of putting up big numbers in bunches. And if everybody else can hold up right now, Vince can get hot. Need a stop out of Bryant. He draws three Raptors. Everybody backs off, and he gets the roll. How about that? Shooters bounce. Arc, rotation. Just give it a chance. It all, that's all you can ask for as a shooter. Give that ball a chance. 34 for Kobe. Carter wants to take him, and it draws the foul. And again, Carter, even though he, he played that one up a little bit, whenever he goes to the basket, he's going to get the call. That's right. And what you want to do is don't look for the foul right as he's looking for the foul before the move right there be strong and you'll get the foul yeah, good yeah. argument for getting a call right there kobe bryant hands on a let's look at what's happening here today between kobe bryant and vince carter and it seems at times Leo, like vince carter's had to work a lot harder for his shots than kobe bryant's had to work for his well that's been the key you see the numbers in the second half kobe decent percentage vince just two of 12 because the defense is entirely focused on him he shot over 50 percent in the first half but he had more contributions from his teammates jumper over alvin williams and it's all kobe bryant right now 36 on the day that may cost him in May, but in December it's working out pretty well. <laughs> Look at this tough shot with the shot clock running down. Carter keeps it alive, and here come the Raptors trailing by 13. 
make it 10. And Del Curry is another player, and we've talked about his shooting ability, and Del Curry can come in and knock down three, four shots consecutively to get you right back into this game. Foot on the line for Curry, so it's just a two, 89-78 Los Angeles. Bryant, that's one they didn't really need. No, and that's one of the few shots he's taken in this game that just ill-timed jump shots. Nice, nice look. Carter inside to Davis. Vince Carter, the distributor here in the second half. Screened by Ori. Shot clock at six. Ori dumped it off for Shaq, who lays it in and gets fouled. Dan, I, I assume that was a pass. It was a pass, and it wasn't the greatest pass, but Shaquille O'Neal getting up there quickly and snaring it with his right hand. Watch this move right here. Kind of a hard pass, but Shaq getting up quick before that ball hits the backboard and finishing it with that second jump. Oakley picked up the foul, his fifth. Oh, great snare. Just getting up there with the quick hands. Vince Carter from beyond the arc. Well, Vince Carter knows he can make that shot. Davis puts it on the floor, snakes inside, and it's a four-point game. The advantage of hitting that shot the last time he had it, Shaq came out. Davis quickly with that first step. All Raptors in the last few minutes. Just over a minute to play. O'Neal, the quick turnaround. No! Alvin Williams uncontested. And a foul. A make here, and it's a two-point game. Bryant. Not this time. Rebound Oakley. Excellent job by Alvin Williams. Again, he's one for seven in the game, but the reason he's on the floor is because of what you saw right there, hanging with Kobe Bryant, not giving him a clean look. Carter on the wing with Bryant on him. Ten on the shot clock. Carter gets by him to tie it. Harper rips it out of the hands of Oakley. A great job by Ron Harper, the veteran, to stay in there and help on the glass. Just a four-second difference between the game clock and the shot clock. The Raptors can't let this run down too much further. They're hoping to get it into Shaq's hands, and there's what the Raptors wanted to accomplish. Boy, oh, that just didn't look good at all. 91-89 Lakers, 12.4 seconds to play. been out there most of the fourth quarter. Well, Dan, if you're the Raptors, obviously a three can win it, but a two at home, you want to get into overtime with the crowd behind you. Carter trying to struggle just to get open. Got Bryant on him. Got a screen from Davis. Working on Shaq, and he'll draw the foul. It's Carter, 83% from the line on the season. First time since the first quarter. O'Neal off to Bryant. Gets it off and it's blocked by Carter to force overtime. Vince Carter with a block on Kobe Bryant. Len Grunwald loves what he sees and overtime is on the way at the Air Canada Center. On Kobe. Bears and a match. Reaction. Wow. Great leaping ability and extension not to foul. Gutsy play because even sometimes when you don't foul, it can be called a foul. Psychologically, you'd have to give the Raptors an advantage. The Lakers may have thought this one was done. Charles Oakley with a jump shot, and the Raptors have their first lead since it was 13 to 12. Oh, what a screen by O'Neal on Carter Shaw with a wild shot. It wouldn't have been a bad idea to drop it back to Shaquille O'Neal and set the screen. Carter to a wide open Alvin Williams. Damn, that's Alvin's game. Just two of nine in the game, but he will shoot. He's made big shots to send games into overtime. He stepped up big late all season long. And here you see Vince Carter, the confidence in Alvin Williams to make that shot because he knows. In about to do Bryant. How quickly Alvin Williams got there. Get some help from Curry. Shaw into Shaq. Nothing you can do there. That's just smart basketball right there. Very cutting. 
through. Shaq moving to the other side. Shaq had an alley oop opportunity again. Shot didn't see it. Bryant gets the roll. Kobe Bryant and now with 38. Williams defended by Shaw. A minute 10 to play. Lakers by four. Quick double team there by Robert Orr to get the hand, ball out of the hands of Vince Carter. And the shot clock now down to seven. Carter spins, misses, follows, taps it alive. Shot clock never reset. Willis gets it in in time. That is the 60th rebound in the game. Fisher's telling Kobe to back up a little bit, give Vince Carter some room to make the pass. Williams finds a lane, and it's swatted away by Shaquille O'Neal. And that's why you want him on the floor, Dan. Number two in the NBA in block shots, about three and a half blocks a game. Great job of helping out on the penetration. Shaw doing a good job of pressure, making that shot more difficult than Shaquille O'Neal stepping up. And now 22 seconds remain, a 13 on the shot clock. Very important to get something quickly here, and then the Raptors are going to be in a situation to go for the quick steal and foul, get the ball back. Willis with a quick look, and it's a two-point game. Now, you'd be amazed as they foul Kobe right away, going back to regulation. The problem for the Raptors is they put the best free-throw shooter on the Laker team on the line. How's he taking it? Four-point lead. Need a quick two and a quick foul and hope for a miss or two at the line. Carter had it blocked by Bryant. It bounces out to Oakland. Can't get a shot off against Kobe. Now he can. It's a two. It's a two for Oakland. Five seconds left. Got to keep it out of Kobe's hands. And now the Lakers call timeout. It'll be Shaw. And he's fouled. One of two, three-point game. Here comes Carter. Got to put it up. Oh, it was dead on line, but just a little bit too strong for Vince Carter as the Lakers escape with a thrilling 104-101 overtime win over the Raptors here in Toronto today. Everybody but new for the land, you'll see the Magic and the Grizzlies coming up, but first back to the studio to rejoin the city of Lebron.